Defamation occurs if someone publishes a statement that contains false, harmful information about someone else. But what if the statement only implies false information? Is that enough to be defamation? New York's highest court explored this issue in Davis v. Beheim. As an adult, Robert Davis reported to both the police and Syracuse University that the university's associate basketball coach, Bernie Fine, had sexually abused Davis when he was a child. The police did not investigate the claim. The university investigated the claim, but concluded that the allegations were unfounded. Davis's stepbrother, Michael Lang, came forward, claiming that Fine had also sexually abused him around the same time as Davis. The university's head basketball coach, James Beheim, had been friends and colleagues with Fine for 40 years. Beheim made statements to the press that the abuse never happened, that Davis had lied before, that Davis and Lang were lying now, and that they were lying for financial gain. The press published the statements. Davis and Lang sued Beheim and the university for defamation, claiming that Beheim's statements were false and harmful. Beheim and the university moved to dismiss the lawsuit, arguing that Beheim's statements were merely his personal opinions and not factual statements that could support a defamation claim. The trial court found that Beheim's statements were opinions and dismissed the lawsuit. In a 3-2 decision, the appellate division also found that Beheim's statements were opinions and affirmed the dismissal. Davis and Lang appealed the dismissal to New York's highest court, the Court of Appeals.